I believe that today was the anniversary for McGregor Diaz 1. Two, three, the UFC 196 pay per view from Vegas, March 5th. The only approach I change is I dug the grave a little bit wider, a little bit longer for Nate's skinny, fat, long body. He didn't give a fuck about trash talk. Connor's in serious trouble. And yes, he stumbled and he slipped before. It's not like he has some perfect record. Far from it. Sure, he lost an ATS. I was simply fatigued and I was drowning in there. It's another day. I'll come back. Conor McGregor has this bizarre way of bending the universe to his will. He's got to get back to doing what got him here to begin with. I took the fight and it didn't pay off. This is the fight business. He needs to get himself in that place where he can be ready to avenge the loss that he suffered from. He looks at that last fight. They wanted to do it again. Well, that's it. I made my plans for revenge, and that's it. He needs to win this fight. He's got enough of this element of surprise. He should have killed me when he had the chance. That goes hand in hand with this ability to just transform the world as we understand it. The last contest was a great fight, and now I have an opportunity to prove what I am saying. I got proved many times before. Because now I'm back, I'm going to kill you and your whole fucking team. And I think that's where some of this intrigue comes from. And then reminding us, whenever you thought I couldn't, I did it every single time. Just watch. I'm here with the winner, Conor McGregor. There were a lot of life lessons in that fight. Both later admitting it's the closest they've ever come to death while living. Surprise, surprise, motherfucker. The king is back. Like my coach says, we win or we learn. I learned from the last contest. Congratulations on winning this rematch. to bring out the absolute best in one another. At night, that moment was iconic. The whole world was watching. Five minute, five round. The damage that he took, he couldn't see. It was just such an insane fight. It's just epic in every way. Nate Diaz is really good. McGregor had nothing left. Diaz was drenched in blood. McGregor also drenched in blood. Nate Diaz is as tough as they fucking come. Lost the first fight to Nate. He came back and he won. One, one. Regroup, boy. We'll do it again. This time I'm 155 pounds. I came up to 170. Face the bigger man. Overcame my adversity. Now you want this trilogy? It's on my terms. Come back down to 155. We'll do it. I think everybody in this room wants to see number three. He just said that he's willing to do number three. If you're willing to do number three. I think he fights Diaz again at 155. And when these two forces meet, it is unlike anything I've ever seen in the sport of mixed martial arts. Connor, you're no stranger to a challenge. It's business as usual. It's got to get settled one way or another. Good job today, Connor. But we're going for three. Better step it up for this one. Obviously, there's probably going to be a trilogy. When does that take place? I'm not doing shit until we go for round three. Nate Diaz right now is goddamn gigantic. It frustrates the shit out of me that he's not fighting. Nate straight up beat him with 11 days preparing sipping Coronas on a boat. I was like, you, this is going to be the first guy that Connor's ever fought that's been in wars with, like, legends. And he's been in there with a lot of fucking high-level dudes. Monster. Size and length. Deceptive boxing skills. You've got Diaz's durability, which is inhuman. And his jiu-jitsu's off the chain, man. I don't think the UFC even knows how fucking huge Nate Diaz is. It's too bad his fight fell through. Nate Diaz is out of his fight with Dustin Poirier. Nate Diaz looks like a guy you don't fuck with. When he fought at 55 before the Conor fight, he fought Michael Johnson, one of his best fights. Fuck that! Conor McGregor, we're taking everything I work for, motherfucker. You know what's the real fight? What's the real money fight? It's me. I'm gonna fight your fucking ass. That real shit right here. And when he put that fucking rear naked choke in, he put that motherfucker in like a super ninja. This is fight shit. This is ninja shit. He's had some sensational UFC victories. Including Rafael Dos Anjos, Donald Cerrone, and Rory McDonald. But it was his short notice win over Conor McGregor that solidified the Stockton product as a star. The place I was at was going fucking nuts. Everybody was losing their fucking mind. Oh! Fucking 
know what he's done in the UFC, and certainly we know what his racy jiu-jitsu credentials are. He's not going to be intimidated by anyone. You know, the consistency and the guys that he's fought throughout his career, he's been working his ass off for a very long time. It's more interesting to see somebody with a unique personality and unique fighting skill set. I feel like I'm better than everybody. Hey, yeah. Entering the octagon, ready for a fight. USA, motherfucker. I'm an athlete, a warrior. We should already be ready to fight everybody on our worst day. Nate Diaz, thank you for being awesome. Nate Diaz stands out as a true original. He lost a fight, he got humbled, and then he jumped right back on the horse and then wound up winning, and then he comes back and blows Eddie Alvarez out of the water to become the first two-division concurrent champion uh, in, in the sport. He won the first three rounds against the greatest boxer of all time. What does he mean for the sport of UFC post-Mayweather fight? I mean, even though he lost that fight, he performed admirably. When we saw him fight Khabib, he just, he fell short. He fell short. If you don't have lots of little failures, you're never going to improve. Incredibly courageous. Chased the Habib fight after two years outside the cage. So he loves the challenges. Connor's always been, a, a, I think, really, really good at handling loss. But now what, though? Not only does he step up and take big fights on last minute, moved up to fight Nate, and was willing to fight anybody. That's why people love Connor. Thousands of people fly from Ireland every time he fights. It seems like you're in Dublin. You see people screaming and cheering and singing. It's almost bizarre how good Connor is. His, his footwork. movement, his footwork, it's that sideways style. Connor murks motherfuckers. He wins the world title in the fastest ever title winning knockout ever. What does he do after that? takes the Diaz fight on short notice. Then he loses to Diaz, right? And then he fights Nate again and beats him. Goes from there and just starches Eddie Alvarez like a world beater. He's a once-in-a-lifetime guy. Connor sets it up and he's landing combos that are all so precise in this power. He's touching dudes and you can see it on their face. Is he an entertainment product? Is he a great athlete? Is he a combination of all those things? Well, you're never going to see another one like him. And the deafening roar of the Irish in that arena when that happens is fucking insane. He's like a, like a, a mythical creature. Conor McGregor has a way of making you not merely rethink the known world. He has a way of blowing it up altogether. He redefines the known world and has on his own terms. <laughs> Pound champion, 55 pound champion, and beat a guy at 170. That's what pound for pound really means. Congratulations, gentlemen. This man, the notorious Conor McGregor, may very well be the biggest star in the world today. Huge global, worldwide phenomenon. The way he approaches fights, he's very intelligent. You look at the body of work for Conor McGregor, beat the greatest featherweight of all time in 13 seconds. I actually think in the Khabib fight, Conor had an improved gas tank. He came from a McGregor Diaz too, and he put on one of the performances in MMA history. When Nate Diaz and Conor McGregor fight, they elevate each other to unknown levels. If there's another fight that would sell, it would be huge. It would be that. It would be Diaz 3. Never ends. I know there's a rivalry between you two. And the kill. Don't do fucking nothing. We're gonna give the people what they want to see. I think it's their only fight. A 55, a trilogy fight. Both of these fights were back and forth. This was UFC's version of Hagler Hearns in the 80s. The fight is the Nate Diaz fight. That's yes, the fight. That's the fight. Oh, yeah. There were a lot of life lessons in that fight. Courage, guts, toughness, passion. It was an absolute war. Dealt with adversity, came back. That's what it's all about. Who you got in the trilogy? If you had to guess what's next, what would you think? It's one of my favorite stories that lost to Nate and, and made the adjustments. Went back in. It was a nice fairy tale ending that we won. I still want to see the Conor McGregor, Nate Diaz trilogy. I think that has to happen. Nate Diaz, the trilogy. Love it. It's a great fight. They match up so well, personality-wise, stylistically. Part of that fight is that Conor is also fighting another mercurial superstar character. I'm this monster. Unless he really wants it so. Right, there's just a palpable tension in the air. You know, it's 1-1, one, one, man. You gotta sort it out. Nate McGregor. Are you kidding me? That would be tremendous. This has destiny written all over it. It's 1-1. One, one. It's a classic in the making. Now you want this trilogy? It's on my team. Come back down to 155 and do it. That was a dog fight. Fighting's a brave sport, but he is, in my opinion, one of the braver guys for taking on the challenges he does. Toughest guy in the neighborhood. Yeah, but Nate, Nate is a very good boxer. No, I knew I was superior boxer, superior martial artist. Nate! It's a beautiful story. I think everybody in this
this room wants to see number three. This is the final showdown between two titans. Because the trilogy needs to happen, and everybody wants to see that. I think it's time. Now it's time. Nathan is there. Diaz is there. Shall we begin? The trilogy coming is McGregor Diaz. Diaz, come back down to 155. I went up to 170, and then I'll show you what I can really do. There's no bigger fight in combat sports. Nate won the first one, Connor won the second, so this is the tiebreaker. It's a must watch. It's gonna be a dog fight. I think they'll be arch rivals to the end. Ready for a fight. Hey, yeah. I'll fight at 260. I went to the fun. I am the beast. for the third fight than any other belt's going to get him in the world. Selling the biggest super fight of the UFC. I get Nate Diaz, Connor kind of back in the ring, and let's do this! It's time! You think we see Nate Diaz in the Octagon soon? I would love to see that rematch.